And if you keep it, your chances of dying in drugs to look like a normal person. So we talk about why you need it. Aside from performance status, si kapulbun, si kagutka, no? Muna may yung takanang atangkot, takulan. Hindi na lang sila takulan. Huwag na iwag ka tipo mani, obstructive sit up na lang. Sige na yung katuog, no? Huwag na yung masiril type na ito, ang katulbun, no? Magsigil katuog, eh na, wala ito lang ang katuog sa gabi. Okay? So, OSA in the heart is associated with the same hypertension of the age to my hypertension, CADC, FPIAs, cardiac weakness. And current papers have actually shown that it's actually got, also causes a problem with your metabolism. It looks like that if you put the, if you treat the sleep apnea, their requirements for insulin will go down and their sugars will also improve. Okay? So, what is a typical patient? It's usually male. You say between 30 to 60 years old, these are usually the smokers, excessively sleep, uh, you know, sleepy, moderate obesity, with some hypertension. OSA can also occur in children, but the symptoms are different. Okay? For children, children is normally in Apple, pero children can have hyperactivity, pull it. When your child is sleepy, mas badlumon. Mau nang takul ko na ang bata sa hapon para hindi ka ayun baglumon, di ba? Kaya kulit ka na sila kung di ka ko. Opposite na sila. When the child is sleepy, samot na sila ka baglumon ng kagandagan, no? Okay? So hyperactivity, developmental delay, poor concentration, developing nightmares and night terrors. Also headaches, restless sleep, large sun. Usually in children, it's usually not weak. But if you take a look at the back of the you see they have very big cancers. So when do you suspect OSA? You see, you can just suspect OSA when somebody's snoring, excessively sleeping, and you have a new sila na mumunong o binhawa sa tulo. Okay? So, syempre, kanina lang, kusubi yung hawa, you see, it goes to our attention, na grabe yung pikasambaan, kapag sa pikaswapo. Now, usually, I don't know, no, no. it's usually when they sleep in another place. Now, they may see that, boy, they don't want to go to the room, but they don't want to go to the room, but they don't want to go to the room, but they don't want to go to the room. So, usually, it's somebody who will bring them to us. And it's often the person that always say, who's the last one? The other one, they don't want to go to the room, so, they don't want to go to the room, 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 they don't want to go to the room. So, what do you think about the Supreme Mahalo? The physical exam can also determine if the patient has OSA. These are the things that you will look at. Usually, these are slightly overweight, the public, next to conference. This is a sample parametric scale to determine who has sleep acne. But basically, what it's saying is that anyone with a high color, narrow dental arches, overjet or overbite, Large neck or large body mass is at risk for sleep acne. If you do not have a large neck or body mass, the predicted value is based on the palate, arch, right, and overjet. Mani ko ba tayo ako sa mga Asians? Usually, hindi ito ko, hindi ko yung pangangaho nilo, gag makilagyanan sa ito. We'll take a look at some of the examples. So, these are the risk factors. Neck size, collar size, 16 inches or more, puts a patient at risk for sleep acne. If your BMI body mass index is more than 25, it also puts you at the risk of sleep acne. So, mga overweight. Kani ni Kuala, wala ka ni, naagin yung sleep acne. Tanawang na rin mo, kibawang na rin ka, naagin siya yung sleep acne. Okay? Tanawang ni O, awang jo, okay? So, smaller sitting jo, large set. Okay? Kuala ni dito ito. High arch solid. Okay, when we take a look at the back of the throat, it's high arch. I will see him in jail. I'm just going to talk about it now. And I'll write this next. Retornatia. Most Asians are not going to have a question in Chinese. And retornatia. Their jaw is too shocked. Overbite. And overbite pictures. When you have an open ritual, you sit the lounge a little. In order to see your parents. Like that. Or sometimes you see these patients with their eyes, they put the cancer, and they put the hawa. They take a look. So, they put the hawa, put the hawa, and they put the hawa, and they put the hawa. Sometimes, they put the hawa. Okay. 
How do you know that the tongue is bigger than is bigger than his mouth? Okay? The tongue is bigger than what you take a look is actually happening with the tongue. If the teeth make makes uh, impressions on the side of the tongue, the same thing that for a year will last in Okay? So that's how you do that. Yeah, for you long enough, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, so you can have to do it. So, another one that actually did a study published in, in critical care medicine was they actually just look into three things and they say that they can predict if somebody has sleep apnea based on the anatomy. One is what they call the critical mental state. So you drop a line between the chin until the critical area and you measure this area here. If it's less than 1.5 cm, that's a risk factor. So coming out of the mat here. Second is you take a look at the back of the Kita kan the whole opening. One, two, three. You know? When you say three, 50% more of the tongue is intersected here. When 75% are more three and four. So the risk factors are the last two. So the intersection, 50% or more of the tongue may pa na yung pala pa la pa la Okay? Overbite. So those three things. If you have all three, most likely you have sleep apnea, 95%. If you do not have all three, then most likely you do not have sleep apnea. Okay. How do you diagnose obstructive sleep apnea? You diagnose obstructive sleep apnea by doing a polysomnogram, okay, by doing a sleep study. During the sleep study, what you do is you take a look at the EEG, EOG, ventilatory variables, oxygen saturations, etc. So this is how we work out. We put EEGs in the brain to take a look at the different stages of sleep. We put leads here in the eyes to look at rapid eye movement and slow movements. There's a thermos in the nose and the mouth to detect air flow. There's a belt in the chest and the abdomen to detect breathing. There's an ECG. We actually look at the ECG go to sleep. A pulse oximeter. And the last leads will be the legs. If some people are kick kicking when they go to sleep. Rest is like syndrome. It's recorded by the video camera. Okay? So it's like that. How some people view the psychophysiologist at work, okay? Remember, now I want you to relax completely and sleep. Basically, this is how we do it, no? So, pero most people, wapalagi ni kauman na book up, na hagbook na sa lingkuranan. So, sgrabi ni kaya, na tulog na nito niya. Mga Filipino station, di ba na napatakangan to grabi na. Oh, usually, we usually get the bad ones, okay? So with the polysomnogram, this is what we look. We look at the sleep state, oxygen 